lovely day, absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance, great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper, the traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. the lineup we've been given how do you read it Jim well the obvious standout in today's football in this system is that it provides you with extra presence in attack with many shaky defenses about getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply so playing two strikers can um, can be a real help to this team I mean, 4-4-2 these days, Peter, gets a lot of criticism, but it's it's unfair. Any system can work if you... Big chance! It's off target and by quite a way. Algeria were again presented with an opportunity to break and look very, very threatening. found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Malumbu. Goes for the cross. Oh, that's not going to find its target. And it's Masuaku. Oh, sweet feet. Fired in. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. Neither side yet able to find the net. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? That is terrific skill. And that's been one straight back. That intervention was very necessary. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Now it's Slimani. Tries a shot! Oh, brilliant! That is brilliant! He's got himself a pinch of a goal! And it's Algeria who take the lead! That has brought the house down, what a wonderful hit! Well, the technique generates the power in that situation, and once power is assured, any goalkeeper's up against it. Algeria, draw first blood here. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Masuaku.
look at the defender bombing forward. Header! Oh, denied brilliantly! Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but that has still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. A really decent game up to now. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Algeria head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. And the action is back on the way. Algeria really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Hoists it forward. Malumbu. Back into the middle. Bentaleb tries to get it forward quickly. Brahimi. Ulam tries lifting it over. Forward it goes. And it's played forward. Well positioned to make that interception. And it's Slimani. Bentaleb. He's in, surely. Chooses to go back. Gulam. And here's Brahimi. Beautifully done. It is quite a run he's making here. There are a few waiting for it. Mare. Morris hits it! Goal! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. So that's two now without reply. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moves. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Battles to win it back. A real chance to break. Now it's Brahimi. A really good feat from him. Out to the left it goes. Aimed into... Up to meet it! Yes! And the lead is extended still further. A lovely header, but really it was all about the delivery. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Slimani could move up a gear here and he's on his way Slimani 
He scores! Surely now they are well and truly out of sight. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Board shows there will be three extra minutes. Malumbu. Bentaleb is the guilty party there. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. I just think it was a, a cheap foul to give away. has got rid of that referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle Algeria enjoy their perfect day for their victims it is entirely imperfect comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest your reflections then Jim Algeria can certainly give themselves a pat on the back for a job well done they have a togetherness that makes them very hard to beat so we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside.